Good morning and welcome to Ovation Boats. My name is Julia Mason and I'm going to show you around the latest boat from Ovation Boats. Now this boat has been built for a customer to their own specifications. Uh, it's very much in the, um, the popular reverse layout but the customer has chosen certain accessories that makes it personal to them. So I've given the boat a bit of a clean. She's all ready to be sent off for uh, the customer. She's traveling by road, uh, probably Wednesday of next week. So apart from one or two little things that just need uh, finishing off, the boat is ready to go. So I'm going to turn the camera around and take you on a quick tour around Reprise. And here we are on reprise, looking from the rear of the boat forward and the boat is a 60 foot narrow boat. We have a reverse layout with galley at the back, followed by L-shaped dinette, a lounge area, shower and bedroom. So the galley is fully fitted, everything that you would need for liverboard, leisure, taking the family out on a trip. We have a three burner hob. Uh, the customer has preferred that rather than a four burner. A four burner isn't really necessary. I don't think uh, anybody does that much cooking nowadays or that style of cooking. Uh, we have a ooh, Electrio, it looks like. Fridge freezer. It's usually a Russell hob, so that's thrown me. We have domestic units with soft closure doors. They've all been cleaned out. Finishing off there, we just need to get those little caps on the doors. As I say, this boat's all but finished, but there are one or two little things that need just sorting out or finishing off. So we've got um, a stainless steel sink with a mixer tap. I didn't notice that this one, I've not actually tried this out, but this one, we've got that and it seems to have a spray facility. Oops, there we go. Now, who'd have thought? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've, not, I've only just spotted that, so I thought I'd give it a go. So we've got, um, I'll give you a general look uh, around the boat. We've got rectangular um, windows. These are double glazed windows with top hopper openings in the galley, the dinette and the lounge area. Very effective. We have a Thetford Midi Prima oven and grill. Now they're separate. At the rear of the boat we have an electrical cupboard which is hidden. All the electrics are hidden by this shelving unit and we have the instrument panel which gives details of the water, fuel, um, operates the lights etc. So this electrical cupboard, as I say, it's um, it's behind this, I can do it one-handed, there we go, um, it's all, it's a bit more difficult to do it one-handed. So I'm not really struggling. I'm just doing it one-handed because I'm holding the camera. But everything is secured neatly behind the shelving unit. So you can get easy access to the electrics, but you've also got some useful storage. Now the customer has asked for grab rails either side of the rear doors. And uh, I must admit, this is a very good idea. Um, I've used them myself. It's amazing uh, when you've actually got something like that, how you realize how helpful grab bars are at the back. So we've got steps with storage leading up to the back deck. We have these little cupboards to port and starboard. And a little shelving unit just there. All very handy storage. This cupboard here goes all the way down. 
we've currently got the uh, tiller bar in there. But to make life easier, we've actually got access via a little cupboard down at the bottom. It's also got that on the port side. So the Galley 2 has a, um, a washer dryer, very handy on a boat, so as you can see, plenty of storage space, it's got oak worktops and the splashbacks rather than be tiled, they are a tile effect which has utilised some of the shower board from the, uh, the shower cubicle. You find it's very handy and it saves tiles eventually working the way loose on a moving boat. So we've got an L-shaped dinette. The cushions are still covered at the moment. I've not taken them out of the bags. They're a lovely blue. I do, I do like these, they're a nice good quality material and they will be looking very very nice when the bags are off and it's all set up. We have two large radiators, one in the uh, galley area, one in the dinette come lounge area. We have lovely curtains as well. All again chosen by the customer and we have these um, the bars top and bottom we haven't had this curtain put up yet but we have the bars top and bottom and as you can see from this curtain over here it enables the curtain to be secured above and below to save having the more traditional bar at the bottom where you took the curtain behind this way the curtains stay where they're put and they don't wang about when the boat's moving. I find those are a, a very effective way of securing the curtains. The customer has asked for a, a television unit and have, has asked for this particular design. So we've got a bit of storage to the left of the television. We have a more so solid fuel stove which supports the, uh, I believe it's a Nebespecker heating system, diesel heating system. The floor is um, an ash effect. It looks like a vinyl click boarding, which is um, always very useful in boats, especially if you have dogs. And there is storage to the left or to the port side of the boat with mirrored uh, backing, lit, mirrored backing and uh, glass shelving for all the knickknacks. That's, uh, that's replicated on the other side, the mirror, on the other side. So it's behind the chimney or the flue of the solid fuel stove. Uh, the good thing about having mirrors on a boat is it really reflects the light and gives you that lovely open feel. Now this corner cupboard or this cupboard here over on the port side gives access to the cassette toilet which is easily removable. There was uh, an option of a number of toilets whether it be pump out or a composting toilet but this couple chose cassette. It's a very very effective toilet system and it doesn't have any problems. Not that the others have any problems, but problems can arise. But if you're choosing a toilet, and not quite sure which one you want on your boat, then it's probably worth doing some research. Now the doors here on this boat are wood. We do have customers that choose to have um, a, a, an opaque panel in the centre of the door but this, this couple have decided to have uh, wood. We have a towel rail, vanity unit with a porcelain 
wash basin on top. And again, the splashback is the same as in the galley and is the same as in the shower. Very effective. Again, we have mirrors in the shower room, which helps reflect the light and give an aspect of feeling of space. So with the cassette to, uh, to port in, in the boat, here is the cassette toilet. It's on a swivel, very handy for people who uh, might have um, mobility issues or if you've got a toilet fitted in a small space, you can swivel the, the top section of the toilet around. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be used on this particular boat because there's lots of room. So the circular windows that we've got in the shower room and in the bedroom, again, are double glazed. We have um, an opaque glass to port and we have a clear glass to starboard. And uh, there will be blinds on these windows. It isn't really necessary to have opaque both, both sides because um, once you've got your blind down, nobody can see in. So at the side of the shower, we have uh, storage space, shelving, and there's also access to the shower pipe work, which is always handy. There's nothing worse than having pipe work built in. And then if there's a problem, um, you've got the problem of, of accessing the pipe work. Not that we have problems on our boats, but maybe that's because we've got our, our pipe work visible. It's a lovely large shower unit, shower cubicle, quarter, quarter doors. As you can see, it's, um, it's got the same boarding as the splashback in the galley and in the uh, shower room basin. We have had a report from a customer that these showers are very, very good. It's a power shower. Moving on into the bedroom, we've again got the, uh, the laminate floor, vinyl floor. There is a step with storage leading to the front deck. We have a double wardrobe. Sometimes customers have mirrors in the wardrobe doors, which, uh, which do look very nice and reflect the light. Plenty of hanging space, all finished off nicely. All ready for the customer to start hanging the clothes. We have a mirror again in this room, in the bedroom. And we have an oak topped corner unit, which is a, a rather large one. I'm sure that the customer have got lots of things to put in there. Again, we have, um, we have a radiator with uh, thermostatic valves. bed is ready for the mattress which um, which is being collected today. One of the things this customer has uh, has chosen to do is rather than have curtains either side of the porthole is to have a curtain on just one side of the porthole so it uh, it reduces it reduces what's around the window basically, and, and again, allows more light into the room. There's lighting above the bed head, and there is storage unit above the bed head. So we'll just meander back through the boat, just to finish off. So I hope this has given you a few ideas for your own boat, if you're considering having a boat built. Oh, we have duck doors, didn't match the duck doors. The duck doors are to starboard 
Sometimes we have windows in them or, or inner windows in them. But this is just, um, I won't say plain duck doors. They are just ordinary duck doors, um, keeping the weather out, but enabling the customer to open the doors and let the sun shine in. So thank you for visiting Ovation Boats and we hope to see you again soon.